been making titles for quite a while and I'll tell you guys why. But before we jump into that, I did wanna let everyone know that's hiding under a rock that DaVinci Resolve 18 is now out of beta. So you can go to the website, download that. All of the tools that we're gonna be talking about today will require DaVinci Resolve 18 or newer. There was a lot of new tools that were added into 18 that I started to take advantage of. So that's going to be a thing that will be required. Uh, the other thing that I did wanna say is if those titles, you looked at them and you were like, I like a couple of those, but I like this style of title or whatever it may be, I would say go to the website and in the contact page, submit your recommendations for styles of titles or things that you would like to see. And if it's something that I can realistically put together, I will definitely uh, do that and uh, yeah, then it'll be available online. So uh, let's talk about uh, titles where they used to be and now where they're at because I think that a lot of editors are really going to like the new tools that I've uh, added into titles. So I was one of the first to introduce titles to sell online and at that time, there was only really the ability to make static titles. So if you guys bought any of those titles, you remember that there was always like three different versions, 25 frames per second, a 30 frames per second, and a 60 frames per second, because we could only make titles static. Over the course of time, that changed a little bit. I figured out hacky ways to go around that problem. And then I believe DaVinci Resolve 17 introduced a whole new tool set to make titles dynamic. There was always an issue with the old way that I used to do it and this new way. If we put a title on the timeline, by default, it's going to be five seconds and the animations would look great. But when we stretch them with these tools, that beginning animation would get longer, that end animation would become longer. And if we would stretch even longer, we'd have these really slow animations on and, and yada yada. So that was always an issue. And I didn't really like titles doing that and I wanted to try to figure out a way so that that wasn't an issue anymore. And it took me a little while to figure this out, but I finally did figure it out. Fixes a lot of potential issues that people would have. Quickly show you how these titles work. So if I come into here, let's go into one of the new packs. Uh, let's actually do the blink pack. So if I bring this in and we take a look at this. So by default, it comes on here. It's five seconds in length, right? We have it's like little animation on and it's little animation off, right? Looks great. Uh, if we were to take another title and we, let's bring this on here. So or actually, you know what? Here, let's first look at this animation. So we start this off and right about there, we'll just make a marker there. So that's where the end of that animation is. And now let's take this and make this uh, 10 seconds long, right? and we drag this out. And now if we take a look here, we can see that we're still animating, right? So if we bring this in, I would say right about there, it's it's not quite two seconds, but whatever, you get the point, right? It's just making it longer. So instead of doing this, what if we were to get this beginning animation to only be this one second, right? So we have the title, it's 10 seconds, right? So we know that we want it to have it by half. So if I come up into the inspector, these are the new tools that I've added into titles now. This will be on all the new titles uh, coming up now. So we have beginning bit here is going to be that animation on, and then where this bar is, that's going to be where the title is static. It doesn't move at all. And then we have the animation off. So if I come into here and let's say we want this to be half, so I'm just going to uh, divide that by two, right? So now if we take a look here, we can see that our end animation and we start to bring this back, we can see that, okay, it's animating all the way up until that previous point that we had when it was only five seconds long. So that's kind of where it makes it uh, a lot easier now. So if we were to stretch this out however long we wanted to, we could just change these. And if I, let's say we wanted to make this end animation half of it, right? So we'll just t take this to point 0.5, uh, halfway through here at the five second point, we're gonna start to see that animation over the course of that whole, you know, that whole end bit there. Uh, so now we can really, you know, start to change this uh, or we could just have it where it previously was or what, whatever, you know, you have the, the flexibility there. And then we also have the ability to turn off the animation. So this is the start animation. So we have it on currently. If we go like that, now we don't have any start animation and it's already visible, right? No start animation, but we still have the animation off We can also turn off the end animation if we didn't want that as well. So now we have no animation. And so now those are the controls that I wished I had so long ago because I remember editing and there's like hacky ways to kind of fix this. But um, yeah, now it's all built in and it's super easy and we don't have to worry about making a freeze frame or anything like that. It's all just within the tool itself. So all the, all the titles work that way. If I go into, let's say one of the draw titles 
and we take a look at this and let's make this uh, 10 seconds long, right? And we drag this out. We can see that we can easily come into here and we can click on here and we can drag where we want this, you know, start bit to end. So maybe right there, we want it to end. So now we have that whole animation on and the animation off. But yeah, that's that's kind of the, the, the new tools that I uh, figured out how to create and I'm super stoked about it. I have 40 titles today that are now available on the website that you can get. Um, and like I said, if there is a style that you're looking for that you currently don't see on the site that you would like to see, go to the contact, let me know what it is, what it looks like, maybe some samples, and I will definitely take a look at potentially creating that stuff. As far as the website goes, anything that you download, you can use forever. I know a lot of people look at the subscription model and they're like, oh, I don't want that. I just want to buy it straight out. Well, hey, for one month, you can continue using it. I would hope that you guys stick around for a bit. I'm going to continuously keep creating these. If there is something that you would like to see that currently doesn't exist, mainly around these titles, uh, just send me a request and uh, I will definitely take a look at potentially creating it if it's realistic and I can. Uh, but yeah, that's what I wanted to showcase here. Like I said, today I have 40 in uh, four different packs, I believe. We're, I think it's four different packs. Yeah, over four different packs. I showed at the beginning. You could go to the website. You can see all the different packs and uh, what's currently available. And over time, there will be more available as well. And uh, with that being said, my name's Jared. Thanks so much for watching. Until the next one, guys. Peace.